All right, I did a little, um, today is April 19th, 2021. I did a um, little bit of a Costco haul. Adam went yesterday. That's the first time he's been there since before the pandemic. And uh, we used to go together, right, before, right when they were telling everybody to go stock up and stuff. I think he went once and he <laughs> turned around, walked out, said no way, it was so packed. And uh, b before that, he went one time by himself and same thing, he walked in and said, uh-uh, <laughs> and walked out. Because that place is usually packed. Well, yesterday he went and uh, he said there was, it was a Sunday and usually they're busy on, especially Saturday, but I think Sunday too. He said there was hardly anybody in there, in the whole store. I was like, wow. I know, I don't know what was yesterday. I don't know if there's any game or anything. I don't pay attention to games and stuff, so I don't know. But anyway, he was, he got home and he, he's known about all my issues I've had with like when we order, you know, something for, from Costco to be delivered or any different stores. Not just that one, but any stores from any service. Seriously, uh, I kept saying that it w we would get, like if we had, you know, however much dollars we, I you know, saw the total um, of what it, we were spending on the groceries would um, be around 70 to 75 percent the final cost because we wouldn't have to pay for things that they couldn't find. Well, I was wrong on my calculation. <laughs> I'm probably still wrong, but it's less. Yeah, the last time we did a pickup, and uh, from the cost, I'm talking cost, not items, but cost, um, it was 60%. And I started thinking about it, see, when he gets, he gets notification on his phone how much the total bill would be, and when he gets it, it includes a tip. Well, our tip was always 20%, okay, if, if it was something delivered, okay. I think one thing it wasn't. I noticed that after I'd ordered it and it was like, yeah, it was a mess. <laughs> so, anyway, but it was always 20%. And uh, so I started doing the calculations and said, how exactly will we do that? Because I was taking it from the total bill before the uh, tip and that fee and that, because there's also another fee and, uh, you know, they're like, you pay for the cost of the groceries, then there's some kind of fee they tack on it, then there's the tip, and then there's the total. Well, I was taking it from how much the groceries were. So when it all come down to it, it was probably close to more like 50 to 55 percent. He was saying maybe 60 to 65 percent. Still. Okay, now the reason why I'm saying this is because what he said when he got um, back from Costco yesterday, He's, you know, he, I asked him how much it was, the total, and he said the bill, you know, he went, and, he went and bought it himself. There's no tip, there's no extra fee, you know, any of that. So he went in, he said it was 340 something dollars. I was like, wow. <laughs> but there were a few things that he couldn't find that, um, you know, just very few, I think maybe a couple, two, maybe three, out of a list, out of list for him and uh he said that that he said he made he made the comment that yeah you see mine was 340 something and which he knew that's usually about what i would order 300 and something and he said and when they do it it was around 170 <laughs> it was true it was very true uh yeah it was around usually around 170 less even one of them uh was in the um under a hundred and uh yeah so he made this comment he's usually not a, a person like that but yeah he 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 knew the score and how difficult it is and i've made videos about it difficult to actually do meal planning and uh because really now i mean how think about how difficult that is meal planning or just getting things organized and now his was a little higher because he bought uh, a grill, you know, that's um, a grill and a stand for uh, paper towels and what else was that? And that wok. So, but anyway, he could do the math. I mean, after all, he's a um, 
electrical engineer <laughs> so he can't do the math and he figured it was a big difference you know yeah but anyway it, it, it makes it difficult because you don't know what you're going to have and you what you need and you know all this stuff so he's fully vaccinated he has been now so he's going to start taking he has started taking over buying the groceries and all but um that was his first trip to Costco and he hasn't done the the whole of going into the grocery store because I figure what I do is you know do the um do it online to pick up because there's no fee involved and stuff like that and then go pick it up and what they don't what they say they don't have I'll get him to go like he agreed he wants to go inside and find and see if they have him himself <laughs> so he's done it once so. and then he can look around for other stuff that he thinks but I think that's much better than him trying to because you know, he's he's not done the groceries hardly ever in the 40 years I've known him so yeah oh well but so he's going to you know like I said just pick up extra stuff or if we need something a little here or there he'll get he has gone to stuff like Dollar General to get some something for the dogs and um, you know in other stores like CVS or something every once in a while so anyway I took some pictures the, the lighting in my house is just it's very it's very difficult to even with the light on top of me there's gonna to be too many shadows and because it's very difficult because we have solar screens on all the windows and it makes it very dull no matter how bright the light is it's still very dull you know look to it not at all bright I, that's one of the reasons I like coming outside and doing a video just coming outside and getting some light <laughs> believe me there's one room I think one room where you can see it's bright because there's there is no the rooms that don't have any windows a light bulb will make it shine you know be bright enough but if it does have those windows with the solar screens it's going to be dull no matter how bright that light is I've seen so far I haven't put extremely bright lights but you see what I'm saying just your average ones anyway I'm going to do that I still haven't I just now switched back to this Edit, video editor and I'm not sure how to put um, I, I want to go under YouTube and see if I can I think you can add music now I need I was going to do that one that I did was a, a fallback <laughs> from October and I was going to do that and I didn't something distracted me but it's only like the first few it's only like 30 something seconds or something like that at the beginning 20 something whatever it is at the beginning so we'll see I'm gonna try to see what it does <laughs> 